Welcome to Confidence with Kathleen, hosted by me, Kathleen Bigel. Hey, welcome everyone to Confidence with Kathleen. Hey, today I'm not with one person, but with four guys. I'm so lucky. <laughs> you are. Um, I'm in the Festival Western of saint Tit and I asked those guys to talk to me about their work, about their job, and how it's important, you know, to be uh, a teamwork, because I think that it's a great part. So, but before we start, I want to give you the, can you present yourself one by one? And uh, yes. Yeah, hi, my name is Philip. I'm from Quebec. And uh, it's uh, the first time I'm doing a uh, festival western the same tip. But you do what? I'm I'm a bullfighter. Yeah. Yep. A very good bullfighter. A very good <laughs> thank bullfighter. You, thank you. How long did you? Uh... Uh, it's about uh, six six years that I'm uh, bullfighting. We had the COVID, so it's about uh, two years that we did, did not make a lot. But uh, it's uh, my third or fourth year that I have a full summer of a uh, rodeo. Yep. That's and I'm Brinson James, and I'm a rodeo clown here at the Festival Western St. Tit. Um, this is 10 years for me here at the festival. Um, I've uh, been a rodeo clown my whole life. My dad is a rodeo clown as well, and I traveled the world uh, with him, and then now I'm a professional by myself. And uh, yeah, still doing it, and I absolutely uh, love my job to travel the world and be a clown. My turn. Yes, your turn. I'm Dominic Oa. Uh, I'm a retired bullfighter like, yeah. uh, with a 25 years career. I've been doing St. Sid for like for 20 years in a row. And uh, I'm still here like making some work with, with the festival, but like it's, it's, it's another like other it's work, but still. Still. Still in it. I'm happy that you are here too, Thank because you. I know we will have a lot to discuss <clears throat> together. Me, I'm Christopher Baudouin. Uh, I'm a bullfighter. Uh, I have a, I have a 35 years old. I'm a little bit old, and I have a uh, seven season w in, uh, in uh, bullfighting. It's my third time to uh, with the festival Western the Saints. So what I would like to know, like, like even from Philip and you, b both of you, you start very young. Like for you, you were with your dad and you follow him on the back. But for both of you, you were a little bit more more older. older yep. How 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 did you decide to become a bullfighter you know like that one morning like okay yeah. i want well, to try well, that at, yeah. the, at the age of 30 i was i would like to uh, try the bull riding and every year the, uh, the next three years just before the like um the clinic um clinic yes the school, yeah. the school, the school. Uh, something happened so i didn't i was not able to go and then uh, one time i said i'm gonna go bullfighting it's a work team uh, I, I love work team so I just decide like this. I'm gonna try it. I don't have background of any rodeo or nothing, nothing about that. Yep. You just try it. Well, I went. I came to Saint Tite a lot of time years ago just to watch a rodeo, and I was looking at Dom and all the there was bullfighter and it was cool. So hey, why and, not? And I know too because you came to my place. Yeah. You came to Texas. Yep. and uh, You went to Oklahoma yep. too for yep. a couple times. Yep. Try that. To, uh, have a look at how the, the bullfighter there works so it's for the experience mm -hmm. so, so and and how how do you like like you said you know you just start trying that but I, i'm feeling there's something probably it's natural inside of you you know do for you sure. got it because it's not everyone do you no. agree that can start to be a, like, a good good fighter we are doing a school here in saint Cedar every spring <laughs> okay and it's once in a while we're gonna have a student, like a new bullfighter, that's gonna kind of like you can see that he's got he's got, he got the cow sand, he's got a, like everything, and he can grow into the sport and become like a bullfighter. But it's not like we have a bunch of students, and it's just one in in, in between. In between a lot of, them. of the, but when you said uh, we can see that it they got it, what they need, what do you want to see in someone that is a good bullfighter. Well, I mean, like the. the the school, the, the first reason, like Phil came to the school and like we need to put them, like we, we teach them technically, yeah. but we need to put them in front of those bull and it's it's good, like school bull. School bull. But I mean, that's where we're going to start to see if they got the cow sense, how are they going to react in front of a bull because it's not everybody who's going to oh. react the same. 
same yeah. way like could be yeah, like really scary me, so. don't don't put me in front of the bull yeah, so <laughs> i can you, talk with them but i cannot exactly. move with them if you've never been there <laughs> yeah, like in yeah. front of a bull yeah all, all your body and your mind is gonna react mm -hmm. but that's where we start and technically and teamwork and we build them and some of them is going to become like good bull good bull fighter. And Phil came came from that that's the school cool. and yeah okay and you really learn a lot from them and uh... yeah from a dom and all the the friend and i went to a pennsylvania have a school to there so i like it I like, fun, yeah, yeah i know i know you love it oh yeah and you do r right here too you yep. did really a great job yeah, thank you thank yep. you and you have a good song too when you come <laughs> yeah <now>. metallica yeah <laughs> it's, uh, and you and me i start uh, i start my life in the the road world to uh, in the barrel racing okay i do to um, pick up riding and change the cavalier we're doing exchange only yeah, yeah exchange i we're doing that only in quebec yeah and after i grew up in the rough stock i do a, a burback riding saddle bronc bull riding i love all of them but my talent is not perfect and uh, i i'm i'm busy to hurt myself and no uh, result yeah. So uh, I try bullfighting because I always see that like uh, the best. But when I look bullfighting, when I, I look that, I, I look like uh, I can't go there. It's impossible yeah. for you to yeah. you start doing it. So uh, I, I try myself in the rodeo school with them and uh, I fall in love you fell in love and you yeah. and and you were one of the kind that yeah, grew did a up great from job, the job over there so mm. so can you talk about us about that school a little bit yeah. more so i think that's a great part and that, that can because is it just from is it just in french is it just for french people or you do it no it's, it's 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 from it's for like everybody who's willing to to try it's a, it's a three day school here in saint c so we got all the that nice arena and everything. Uh, we hire like a bunch of, of uh, teacher. Like it's gonna be bull riding school, uh, brown and bareback, and the bull fighting school. Okay. So and it's a three day. Like half of the day we're gonna be like really technical. Yeah. And after that we were loading bull and we're bucking bull and we're cheat teaching them and it's 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 a very for myself it's like a very good week. It's fun. It's fun because it's relaxed. Yeah. I mean it's and it's. It's our passion, bull yes, riding, and bull fighting, yeah. and we we discover like new new talent, and it's it's, it's so. Awesome. And when is it usually? I'm sure it's not in February uh, because here no. it's yeah, too cold. Yeah, we we have the winter, and yeah. the, we need we need uh, we wait until the the, the, the snow, snow melt. But uh, usually it's in May, April. Like it could change a little bit, but every on the website it's always there. Uh, right? Which it's, website you can the see? The Festival Western of Saint Cyd website. Festival Western, so maybe I can put the link if someone wants to go see yeah. it and maybe yeah, sure, see the, sure. so that can be good too. So, oh, good. And you, can you tell us about because you are not, we know that you follow your dad, but you, when did you decide? I'm, how do you decide? To I'm, I'm from the city. I mean, I all my when I was a kid, I was like Montreal and like really the city. And uh, I, in my family, I have a hand that had like uh, horses, like pull horses mm -hmm. so I start with those horses kind of uh, I work I work at a big ranch to uh, we rent, rent horses like for trail trail riding, trail riding and everything so and we had a small rodeo like close to there like called the rodeo dome and it's amateur rodeo yeah, but yeah. went there with friends discover rodeo and I start as a bull rider that's uh -huh. how I started like my career like two three years as, as a bull rider but I was always looking at the work of the bullfighter, and I took took some school like like those guys did here in Saint Cyd, like back back in back. The, in the day, and I just I had it. Then one time, like uh, Jason Davidson was giving the school, so it's, uh, it's yeah. a big like uh, bullfighter, bullfighter back at the time, and he kind of told me like you need to like, push and make a living about okay. it. Okay. So since that day, I just stopped riding bull and just move on like in the bullfighting world. And, grow like for 25 years career and and you went a little bit everywhere too in the yeah U yeah went in the united states okay. like uh west mm -hmm. like europe like i i did like traveling all, all over the world that's make like the, the rodeo like so so fun, fun. i mean you, you you travel you met 
a bunch of friends, like new new thing, and it's it's, it's awesome. A new uh, yeah. So and then uh, we talk uh, about like you your work. Okay, for them they work a lot around the the pool and the, so for you as a town, yeah, you have a part in the to make people happy right, and right. <laughs> animation with I the. Do. Yeah, but I'm feeling you have other part too in the team. I, I do. So when it comes to the bull riding, it's uh, usually I'm in the barrel and I have a little bit of a different barrel here, but I still think that I can still help out in a different way that I can. Mm -hmm. These guys are professionals at knowing how a bull is going to do what it's going to do, how the cowboy is going to come off. They know where they need to be, but if something were to happen to them, yeah. that's when I can kind of come in and maybe help out in any way I can, either if it's throwing my hat, rolling the barrel in there, or, or possibly getting the bulls, Get the bulls getting the bulls' attention uh, myself. But yeah, they're they're the professionals. They're the the A team. I'm just their backup. Yeah. Ho hopefully, I can help them out if they ever need to it. protect them yes. and things like that. And they know that you are there too, and For the sure. barrel is there. Yeah, and like uh, I remember, I heard like Brinson, like he, he's gonna talk to us, like, like right behind I, you, like he's yeah. when when the action's like it's getting like it's getting hot, like he's he's gonna be there and he's gonna talk, and you know that he's there. So so that's a good point. So like we were talking before, like for me, I think it's really like because when you arrive to a new rodeo, sometime you work with different guy or you are not always right. the same team. So how do you like adjust that part of working together because I think that people they don't see that is you know they don't realize that it's very important because yes you are there to protect the the bull rider but you have to, you are there to protect your friend too does that make sense for sure yep. I, I think well I, just from my perspective it's they're all very passionate about their job and they are all are very they all know what the job looks like and what it should be and so when they all have that same mindset, then they all are kind of really thinking about the same thing. Yes, they if they get somebody new, they might do it a little bit different, but it's all the same way. It's all the same job, protect the cowboy. Yeah. And so they can all have that same mindset of protect the cowboy, protect the cowboy, and then they can link in knowing he's going to protect the cowboy, he's going to take the bull away. And even if they've never met before, they know they can they, they can make that idea up immediately. It's very unnatural for you. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. It's like the same, like he said, the same way to protect the cowboy. So we have different style. Uh, one is faster, the other one like not slower, but mm -hmm. visual more, more visual. So, but at the point at the end, it's the same thing: protect the cowboy, protect the bull, everybody save. So. Yeah, protect the animal as well. That's that's one of the um, another one that a lot of people don't understand that these uh, bullfighters they're protecting the cowboy. Yes, but, but they also sometimes jump out there and make the bull turn back even faster and buck the guy off and then go protect the cowboy. You yeah, that they're they're really protecting both sides of the of the sport. Yep. That. When you arrive for you when you arrive to a new place like. Because sometimes, like, there's a barrier, the language barrier, yeah. too, for the French people, and they is there? Do you feel sometimes that it yeah. underground? It can be. Uh... I think it's um, it's a lot for myself. It's a lot of uh, li list listing, uh, listening. listening. Yes, thank you. Listening of uh, all the guys, uh, the body language, like you said. You, you see what type of bull rider, uh, bull fighter, is it when you see uh, after one bull. Okay, it's the this kind of a bullfighter. Okay, I I adjust myself. Me, my type, it's I adjust myself a little bit. But if if you don't adjust yourself, how? What is your type more of bullfighter? It's, are you more going? You are are you the one that go more fast? I'm not you, sure what's my really oh, type. You never yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay, my, so I well, will well, ask him. Well, uh, tell him. Tell me what is his type because you said that you look what kind of type it is. Yeah, like uh, yes. Tell me. Philip. <laughs> 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 We're waiting. <laughs> Monty Philip. Monty Philip worked with us. And I never fought with Monty. Mm -hmm. So, but after the first two balls, like Monty is fast. So you have to adjust your, yourself to to be with him. And Chris do the same thing. But normally, me and Chris we work to uh, the, the summer all line to get all long together. And <clears throat> we got 
I'm faster than Chris, but Chris is more like he's watching and taking his time to do the good thing. Okay. So a lot of a lot of people think that you have to be really fast to fight exactly. bulls, and then and, and actually that's the complete opposite. If you are no <coughs> animals and you know how the bull will work, the slower the better. And you mm -hmm. and so and bulls can't turn as fast as people. Yeah. So if you get inside that turn and slow yeah. down, that is actually where where the sweet spot is for these guys. So like you said with Monty, Monty can get to that spot super fast. When these guys are used to coming in and picking up the bull's attention a little differently, but it's very cool to get to watch two totally different styles come together and still get the job done perfectly. I'm feeling that you know, with everything that you explain right now, I'm feeling if to all those that will listen that now they can even look sure. at at that the sport, not just the bull rider, but the team oh, yeah. together. Yeah, teamwork. So yeah. When you, my style, like I used to yes. be, like I, I'm a really, really calm person. Yeah. So yeah. I'm not gonna run for nothing, but I will be there at, at the, the right time, and I'm re really calm, so I can like the visual, like it's pretty good. I can, I, I have a like really good cow sense and everything. So, but like they all explain, it's we all have different style, but the basic, it's the same, like how to work those bull and cut together. Those cow. And and when you are on the ground, do you talk together like you? You were saying that sometimes you hear him like on the back, or do you talk or not really? Yeah, or? well, yeah, because like uh, with Monty, we don't really work en uh, enough with him. So we talk about, hey, what do you see about this bull? What do you see? What you prefer yeah, to you do? Yeah. So you don't really talk during, during the action. action. You're gonna talk after. Before, before or after before. because yeah. it's going so fast. I mean. You don't have real times time to, but it's like you said, it's the body language. Like everybody kind of know where, what position they got and where they're going to go. And that's, but like to talk during the ride, it's, right. it's hard. I mean, Ritson's going to do it because he's, he's walking so behind sure. you. Like just to give you a cue that he's there. So yeah. if you back yeah. up, there's you a barrel there. This, so but no, I mean, no time for, there's no time for them to look where and, you and, are. and think about anything else besides completely action of going. Yeah. Because when they think about anything else, then they're late. Yeah. Their 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 only reaction yeah. is the is what they need to do. That they know so much about bulls that their first reaction is the right reaction, which is amazing. Yeah. And so, their first reaction to go, I'm just there in the background to say, "Hey, the bull rider's out of the way," or "Oh, he's knocked out. He's knocked yeah. out." So they can think, "Oh," and and I not not, need... not talk about it, but just think, "Oh." Now, and my first reaction of hearing that and this bull and take it and do something. When, when okay. he's talking, it's he's thinking for us. Yeah. He's giving like the, the cue. Like, it's happening. Like, like so what? we just react to like what we hear, what we saw or whatever. Like, okay, so you are like their spirit inside. Yeah. <laughs> big, big teamwork. A big yeah, teamwork. Yeah, it's a teamwork. It's a teamwork. It's a, teamwork. It's yep. a, teamwork. It, it's a sure. really nice teamwork. But do you talk to uh, with the stock contractor or things like that about their bulls is there some that they want you to be yeah. at some places or things like that I, i'm asking because uh you know i work a lot with bulls that i talk with that they are young bulls that they go for the futurity but when they start them the you know for me the bulls really show me what they like and what they don't and there's really some that they need they prefer to go out on the left and to have the clown there oh, yeah. or no, you know, so, yep, for sure. and, and I don't know. So I don't know if the stock contractor sometimes tell you that, you know, to help the bulls to perform better. Does that make sense? Yeah, it totally makes sense. Like, and I don't want to talk for those guys, but like Brinson said, we're there like to protect the cowboy, but we are there at the same time to, to make the that bulls. bull the best, the best, that he performance, performance that he's gonna do. But is there the contractor told you? Yeah, sometimes sometime? he's gonna say like it's a young bull, so like uh, uh, let him do like two and to the right. So you just kind of show your yourself like he's, he's gonna he's to take his attention, turn back, and you just disappear and he's gonna turn back. Okay. Some of them like I like some of them was gonna be really mean, so he's just gonna give us a hint like hide, so you don't want to disturb like the, the right because he's a mean one, so my might chase something if so you're just hiding so you, you're gonna keep yourself a little bit more on the back on the back but you always focus that you need to be there yeah. right on time when it's gonna be time so it's 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 all the thinking but those top contractors are gonna talk to us when they need to to help those bull like, to to perform, perform better yeah. because for them it's a 
it's important that the yep, balls yep, yep. too like more that they perform the best yep. and probably they like when you help them too to yep, for sure so it's all a teamwork yeah it's a teamwork and you have to uh sometime they they ask you to be in front of him and try to block him and it's it's kind of scary because he's coming and yeah, the, but, yeah. but hopefully he yeah. turns back and, yeah and, and he will do what he yeah and sometimes they don't they don't turn <laughs> and just go through us it's fun and yeah. he's yelling, don't move. Don't yeah, move. yeah. <laughs> you're like, shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah, teamwork for everything, yeah. No, but I'm feeling because those bulls, you know, from my part, you know, yep. my point of view, I don't know about the bull rider. I don't talk with bull rider, but I talk with bull. And I know that the bulls really love their job. You yeah. Know, there's a lot of them that it's crazy. Sure. Uh, yes. It's, it's not just like they love their job. Yeah. It's really, a, uh, and that, that's my point of view, you know. Uh, I'm very impressed all the time when I'm talking yeah. with bulls, like how they like it, so how to perform oh, yeah. and yeah. But you can tell just the way they bark, like to be so big, strong, and to be so catty, and to be so it's like uh, yeah. fast and everything, it's, they love it. They love it a lot, and, and they, nothing hurts them. We agree about of it. Course, oh, yeah. no, no, no. They, yeah. they hurt us. No yeah, they, 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 they. <laughs> the only hurting going on is us. It's, it's you, yeah. Yes. So, A. Thank you guys. Thank you. So, what next for you both? Tonight. 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 Eight o'clock tonight, and after uh, tomorrow we have uh, two rodeo. Saturday two yep. rodeo. And uh, Sunday, the Sunday, Sunday the final. Sunday the final. My my, fa my favorite part of this rodeo is hanging out with the team in the locker room before the event, and uh, so we got three more times or four more times yep. really. To get together, to, 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 together uh, in the locker room, free hand for real. That's the that's my favorite part is to hang out with these guys mm -hmm. and to all talk about uh, rodeos and bulls and, and and being a team. And that's my favorite. It's that's uh, I, I love I love uh, I love teamwork. Ta talking about rodeo and like Saint it finished like this Sunday, but the, I know Saint it. I think for you, mm -hmm. it's a special one too, for sure. and for everyone. Like yep. from someone from Quebec to be in bullfighter. In Saint Tite, it's a big thing. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. it's, it's the goal. It's huge. huge. It's, it's huge. huge. Oh yeah, for sure. And you, uh, I don't want. I don't want you. I know there's probably some other really good rodeo too. But is there? No. What no. The, not. What do you like here? The party here is no. good too. No, no, no. The, the, rodeo, <laughs> the rodeo. The rodeo. The rodeo is amazing. The crowd is amazing. The crowd, yeah. And the uh, production, um, with the video and the pyro and the lights. And the speakers, it's it's by far my favorite rodeo in the whole world, and I think it could be the best rodeo in the world. Um, it, the NFR, it doesn't even compare. The Calgary wow. Stampede doesn't compare. Um, I, I've never been to Brazil, but I bet you it even beats Bojitos. It's it's this is the best rodeo in the world, and I can put it up against any any of any of them. Oh yeah, sweet for sure. And you? I know you did a lot bunch too, you know. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I didn't travel as much as as Brinson, but I mean, I I did travel a, a lot. lot, and yeah, like like you just said, everything, everything, the production, lights, the, the crowd, the I mean, crowd, it's, the here. movie screen on the dirt. I mean, oh, there's yeah. no, that's yeah. there's not many places in the world that you get to see something everything. like this. Everything, it's yeah. so cool. And that and we... that it's open too, like. Yeah. On the for the arena, yeah. it's open, but everyone is sit in the crown. They are on the dry. I'll drive, but amazing. so it's amazing. Yeah? Yeah. It's a nice yeah. setup. Oh yeah, for sure. The best rodeo in the world. You have to come. Have to be. Have to come to rodeo. Oh, yeah. One time in, because sure. you try. Even for me, I try to explain it to my friend. You know, in Texas, and I'm like, y you can. You don't understand no. until you come here yep. just to see <laughs> the town with all the camper and every people and all the poutine too oh so yeah <laughs> this week i eat i think every day <laughs> so yeah. yeah we're trying to eat a little bit more uh, healthy LT after we need, after we need to be ready in the arena but yeah, yeah not yeah. me i'm still young the poutine <laughs> you, you still you still yeah. young on it oh uh, yeah for me uh, next week i'm i will come back P to poutine my... and pogo every day oh pogo. yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Perfect. I thank you so thank you. much, thank you. and thank you. Uh, I really appreciate it that you take your time after this for today to do that podcast for me. But thank you for you. I really hope that because I want people to realize what is your job and maybe to look at the 
the bull rider, you know, when they look at the bull, not just the bull rider, but all the all the work, the work together. around the bull. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you for sharing your time with me. Please make sure to follow, like, share, subscribe on all my social media. And don't forget to leave me a review. If you want to learn more about me, visit my website, horseconfidence.com, with a K, where you can also order my book.